the analogy I often use is forget about intelligence, just think about physical strength. Suppose you have a nice little tiger cub. It's sort of a bit bigger than a cat. It's really cute. It's very cuddly, very interesting to watch, except that you better be sure that when it grows up, it never wants to kill you, because if it ever wanted to kill you, you'd be dead in a few seconds. And you're saying the AI we have now is the tiger cub? Yep. And it's growing up? Yep. So we need to train it as it's when it's a baby. Well, now a tiger has lots of innate stuff built in, so you know when it grows up. It's not a safe thing to have around. But lions, people that have lions as pets, yes. sometimes the lion is affectionate to its creator, but not to others. Yes. And we don't know whether these AIs... We, we simply don't know whether we can make them not want to take over and not want to hurt us. Do you think we can? Do you think it's possible to train I super intelligence? Know. I don't think it's clear that we can. So I think it might be hopeless. But I also think we might be able to. And it'd be sort of crazy if people weren't extinct because we couldn't be bothered to try. <laughs>